One of the main reasons we developed the new Guardian system for pump controls is to eliminate the human interaction with the pump. So the pump will automatically throttle up and throttle down based on pressure conditions. The reason that pressure is so important to the pumps is we need to maintain a minimum amount of inlet pressure into the back of our pump. If we don't do that, we can run in a state of what we call cavitation. What cavitation is, is when there is a very low pressure atmosphere coming into the pump or onto the inlet of the pump, what happens is we can actually boil water or boil the liquid at, at temperature because it's under a vacuum. When that liquid is under a vacuum, it expands. And then when it gets into the pump and it gets pushed back together, we have a sudden collapse of that to liquid back together, which is what, what gives us a lot of pump damage and a lot of pump wear. It also provides the opportunity for air entrainment. And what that means is we're getting air bubbles or air into our line. If we've ever been out in, our, in the field and seen our flow meter bounce a little erratically for some reason, it's probably because we have cavitation happening somewhere in our system, which could start from the main pump, not having a big enough feeder pump to feed the main pump, not having enough pressure going into our booster pump. So a good rule of thumb is always 30 to 40 pounds coming into the back of your booster pump. That way we don't operate in this low pressure environment. If we see that we end up in this low pressure environment, the only way to get away from it is to throttle down or throttle back. With the new Guardian system, it's gonna take care of all of that for you. It already knows what your pressure is on the inlet and the outlet, and it will throttle down accordingly to make sure that we keep enough pressure coming into the back of our pump.